Rangers and welcome to Ranger Ruby YouTube channel. In today's video, I'll be going over 10 fun facts about Marsh Billings Rockefeller National Historical Park. Let's go ahead and dive right on in. Fact number one, Marsh Billings Rockefeller National Historical Park is the only national historical park located in the great state of Vermont. Fact number two, nestled among the rolling hills and pastures of eastern central Vermont, the Marsh Billings Rockefeller National Historical Park is the only national historical park to tell the story of conservation and history and the evolving nature of land stewardship in America. Fact number three, today the park is a living symbol for three generations of conservationist thought and practice. It is also a repository for th the histories of three quintessentially American families. Visitors can tour the mansion and gardens where these exceptional people lived and observe nature and learn more about stewardship and conservation in the park. Fact number four, the park is named after George Perkins Marsh, author of Man and Nature, released in 1864, and one of the nation's first environmental thinkers. Fact number five, it is also named after Frederick Billings, a 19th century lawyer and railroad entrepreneur who bought the property from the Marsh family and who was deeply influenced by Marsh's conservationist thinking. Fact number six, Billings' granddaughter Mary French Rockefeller and her husband Lawrence Spellman Rockefeller sustained the Billings' practices in forestry and farming during the latter half of the 20th century. Fact number seven, Marsh Billings Rockefeller National Historical Park, which includes the property's residential core and a 550 acre forest, was created in 1992 as a gift to the American people by Mary and Lawrence Rockefeller. Fact number eight, the Pogue is a man-made 14 acre pond tucked in the hills of Park's Mount Tom Forest. Naturally a spring-fed boggy area, it was created in the 1880s as an earthen dam was constructed, and it is rumored to have been bottomless. Fact number nine, the Marsh Billings Rockefeller Mansion was originally constructed as a brick house in the federal style by Charles Marsh in 1805. It was purchased by Frederick Billings in 1869 and remodeled in the fashionable French Second Empire style. Fact number 10, the museum collections consist primarily of 19th and 20th century art and artifacts belonging to the Billings and Rockefeller families and a few items associated with George Perkins Marsh. It is a diverse collection that includes house furnishing, fine arts, decorative arts, and family mementos. Well everybody, that's the end of today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to give this video a huge thumbs up and comment down below with your thoughts. I'd love to hear from you. Also be sure to click that red subscribe button and a little bell next one to always when I post new videos. Thank you so much for watching again and I shall see you next video. Bye!